I used the Australian Royal Bluebell flower for inspiration. So it's a lot larger than the real Australian Royal Blue flower, but I still think it looks really pretty. If you want to make the adorable little purse, there's a separate video tutorial for that as well, and I also teach you a new stitch, crochet stitch, in that tutorial. For this video tutorial, you're going to need your 3.75 millimeter crochet hook, your tapestry needle or darning needle, and a pair of scissors. I used a yellow yarn for the center of my flower. You can use yellow or white colored yarn. You can use 100% acrylic medium four style yarn. This yarn is, I love this cotton yarn. It's a yellow. It's just what I had in my stash. So you can pick whatever yellow colored yarn that you want. You could also use a really pretty sparkle white too if you wanted to. This is Red Heart with Love Metallic. For the main color, I used Light Periwinkle, and this is Red Heart Super Saver yarn, medium 4, 100% acrylic. So you're going to take your yellow yarn, and we're going to start with the magic circle. This is the center of the flower, so you can use yellow or white colored yarn. Just drape the yarn across your four middle fingers, use your thumb to stabilize, and then wrap the yarn around your two middle fingers, and then hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. Take your 3.75 millimeter crochet hook, go under those two loops around the middle fingers, and then bring up a loop. Then yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through that loop for your slip knot. Then you're going to make six single crochet into the magic circle. So go under those two loops, bring up a loop, yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through both loops for a single crochet. And then you're going to make a total of six single crochet into the magic circle. So there's two, three, four, five, six. Then you're going to close the magic circle, take your forefinger and thumb, hold the base of the six single crochet. Then you have these two loops on the opposite side. Go ahead and pull on one of them. If it doesn't close, let go and pull on the other one, but this one's closing. Then take that loose yarn in and pull on that. Then just turn your work, and then you're going to make a slip stitch into that first stitch. Sorry about the blurring. Into that first stitch. So take your crochet hook, go into that first stitch, make sure you grab both loops. Yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. So now you made a circle. If you have an opening at all, turn the work over and just pull on that yarn end on the back and that will close up the center of your magic circle. So now you should have one loop of yarn, the yellow colored yarn, on your crochet hook. We're going to change colors now. Bring in your blue colored yarn that you're using for the petals, flower petals, and then you're just going to bring up a loop with your blue colored yarn. Then you're going to set your work down and then you're going to tie a knot with the previous colored yarn and that loose yarn end. Then you're going to take and cut the loose yarn end from the previous colored yarn. So we're going to have a lot of loose yarn ends with this flower, just so you know up front. So now you're ready to make one of the petals. So now you're going to make a chain of eight. Just yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and bring up a loop for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now you have a chain of eight. And I want to point out that you have the right side of the magic circle facing you. The wrong side is where the loose yarn end is on the back of the magic circle. So we have the right side facing us, and the reason why I'm telling you that is because it's important for when we're making the petals. So now you have your chain of eight, and you're going to make a single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So go into the second chain from the hook and make a single crochet. Then you're going to make a half double crochet 
into the next stitch. So you yarn over, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, you have three loops on the hook, go ahead and yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through all three to complete a half double crochet. Now we're going to make one double crochet into the next three stitches. So you're going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop, and make a double crochet. So yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through two loops only. You have two loops remaining. Yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through the two remaining loops to complete a double crochet. And then we're going to make one double crochet into the next two stitches. Then you're going to make one half double crochet into the next stitch. And then in the last stitch, you're going to make one single crochet. So one single crochet into the remaining stitch. Then go ahead and make a single crochet into the next stitch on the center. Then you're going to turn your work so that you're crocheting back on the opposite side. So now you're going to go into the first stitch on the opposite side of the petal. Then you're going to make a half double crochet into the next stitch. And then one double crochet into the next three stitches. one half double crochet into the next stitch then you're going to slip stitch into the tip of the petal let's go right into that tip of the petal yarn over turn the hook upside down and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook then go ahead and chain one and then finish off. Just yarn over and just pull enough yarn through to bury into your work. And now you finished one petal. And you're always going to start the petal on the right side of the work. So now you're going to go into the next stitch. I have the right side facing me and I'm going to go into that next stitch and then I'm going to bring up a loop with my brown colored yarn. Now for me, I turned my petal so that it's facing down. So here's the right side of the yellow portion. And then here is the wrong side that has the loose yarn end. So you can see how the petal kind of cups down or curls down. That's how I made my petals. Now I have the right side facing me. And I'm going to go into the next stitch over and bring up a loop with my blue colored yarn. And then you want to tie a knot. You can go ahead and chain one first and then tie a knot. And don't count that first chain one where you tied the knot. That's just to help secure it, secure the knot. So you can see how you can't work into that chain. So now you're ready to make your chain for the petal. And remember the chain for the petal is a chain of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now 
you're ready to make the petal. So remember, we went to the second chain from the hook and made a single crochet, then one half double crochet, one double crochet in the next three stitches, one half double crochet, and a single crochet. Then you can go ahead and make a single crochet onto the center, turn your work so that you're working on the opposite side, go into the first stitch on the opposite side and make a single crochet, then a half double crochet, then one double crochet into three, a half double crochet, then a single crochet, or slip stitch I mean, into the tip of the flower. So go right into that tip, and then make a slip stitch, chain one, and then finish off. And just bring enough yarn through to bury into your work. So now you have your second petal, and again, find your right, the right side. You can see how the petals are curling downwards, which is what I want. So now I have two. So now you're going to keep making petals until you have five total petals. So now I'm going to go over, I have the right side facing me, and then I'm going to go into this next stitch to make my third petal. So I'm going to bring up a loop, chain one, and then tie a knot. You can see all the loose yarn ends, but they're easy to bury. And then I'm going to chain eight, make a single crochet into the second chain from the hook, then a half double crochet, one double crochet into three stitches, a half double crochet, a single crochet. And then I'm going to single crochet into the next stitch on the center, turn my work, make a single crochet on the opposite side, make a half double crochet, one double crochet in three stitches, a half double crochet, and then I'm going to slip stitch into the tip, and then chain one, and then finish off. So now I'm just making sure that all of my petals are facing the way that I want them to. So here's the right side of the center, and all of my petals are curling downwards, which is what I want. So now I'm going to make join in my next stitch, my fourth one. Try 
trying to get under the loops. Let's see. And then I'm going to bring up a loop with my blue colored yarn. Chain one. Tie a knot. Then I'm going to chain eight. So now go ahead and finish this petal just like we did for the other three. Now when you get when you finish half of the petal and reach the center, this time you can just make a slip stitch into the center because you have there's a stitch here between the next petal. So you can either make a single crochet or a half or a slip stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and just make a single crochet there. And then turn my work to make a single crochet on the opposite side and then finish this petal. So now this is what my flower looks like and then you can decide where you want to make your your last petal. So for mine, I'm going to make my last petal up here to make a total of five. So I'm going to go right into the top of between the two petals up here and bring up a loop. Chain one and then tie a knot. Trying to decide which loose yarn end I want to work with. Then you're ready to chain eight. and then make your petal. When you reach the center, I'll show you what I do. So now I'm at the center and what I can do is just slip stitch into the center of the circle. And then you still want to turn your work so that you're going on the opposite side of the petal to finish it off. So you're going to start with your single crochet and then just finish the opposite side of your petal just like you did for the rest of the petals. And now you finished all of your petals. Now you just have to bury your loose yarn ends. So this is the right side. All of my petals are curling downwards. So now I'm going to turn it so I'm facing the wrong side. And then you're going to bury your loose yarn ends. So you just take your tapestry needle, put the loose yarn end onto the tapestry needle, and then for the initial chain or the last chain one that we made on the end of the petal, you want to go into that chain one with your loose yarn end towards the wrong side. And that's so you can just keep that little point. You don't want to have that point disappear. Then just take and weave the loose yarn end through the back of the leaf carefully. Make sure that you pull it so that you still have the point so you don't lose that little point. Then, after it's buried, you just take and trim the loose yarn end. So go ahead, bury all of your loose yarn ends, and when you have the yellow loose yarn end, I usually bury the loose yarn, and I'll show you, with the yellow. So the blue you bury with the blue, and the yellow you bury with the yellow color. So on the wrong side, I'm going to take the yellow yarn and just weave it. Woo! poked myself. <laughs> Carefully don't poke yourself and just weave it through the wrong side of the work. Being careful not to poke yourself and sometimes I'll go through two areas. Then you can take and trim the work. Go ahead and bury all of your loose yarn ends. Then, after you bury all of your loose yarn ends, you can take and sew the flower in place. So my flower, I sewed to the ear. 
So I sewed the yellow portion to the ear and then I hid the knot. When I tie a knot, I tie multiple knots about five times and then trim the loose yarn end. And then you can't see it on the back of the ear. It's buried. And then you can see the beautiful flower design on the front. So I put the three petals towards the top and then two petals towards the bottom.